are installing our three pounds of bees today. This is about three pounds of bees. Um, we have a queen in here and her attendants as well as some food and they are going to be going into the hive we already have. Um, the bees didn't make it this winter so we are installing them and I will show you a little bit of the process. I'm going to angle this down the wrong way. Here is our existing hive. We are missing a frame here because I'm going to slide the queen in there. There are some of the dead bees in here from last year. Um, the current bees, we'll clean them out so we don't worry about them as much. We're going to start the smoker up. We have the um, pellet starters in here. Hopefully they work. going. All right, so we have the smoker going. We just got to make sure that stays going. There were some newspapers and some lavender already in this smoker from last year. So the lavender actually does calm the bees down some. Um, the smoke will ha help block the pheromones. That is why we smoke them. It doesn't hurt them at all. I'm just going to put that in here, actually. Put it right over here for now. And because we are opening up the hive, I am going to actually, this is my first time with these bees. We just rode home about an hour in the car um, together. So I am going to veil up and put gloves on. So besides looking really, really cool with these things, really it's protecting me from getting bees in my hair and in my face. And these are new um, packs and gloves. So they will protect me, hopefully, from getting stung like I did last year. Um, last year about seven bees stung me in the same hand. So it was not very pleasant, but it happens. When you get your three pounds of bees, they come in this nice little cage. And what you have to do is, really you have to unlock the cage and get them open. And you use your hive tool for this if you can. Okay, we only have two there. This cord here we're gonna be careful with. I'll try not to completely run it because it is holding the queen cage on the inside. And we do not want to lose her in this mess. So basically your hive tool is nothing more than a fancy or a small little pry bar. So you can use it to undo these staples in this wood, which is really not much more than balsa wood. To be careful because remember we have about 3,000 bees in here. Alright, so it doesn't want to open for me today. Alright, once we get one. The other relatively easy. All right, so this holds not only the queen box in, but it also holds this canister in. And this canister has sugar water that the bees are currently eating um, because while they're in here, they have to still be able to eat. 
So what we have to do is tip this. And I tend to just kind of do this until we can actually pull it out. Um, what I will be doing is setting it on the cinder block next to the hive for the bees to get into. We may have to actually tip this over to get it out today. There we go. So now the bees are technically free. I'm going to be moving this over to the cinder block over here so they can get to it. Right now, while it looks like it's scary and there's bees everywhere, these bees don't have a place to live. So they are completely docile. Um, I did let go of the queen box, so that wasn't very smart, but I'm just gonna kind of tip her in this way. And you basically tip the bees out. You hear that fun little noise, right? Now, did we get that box out? This here is the queen box. And inside is the queen and her attendants. And we are currently covered in bees. So we're going to slowly remove these guys, ladies mostly. And we're going to free the queen. And in order to do that, there's this little cork in here. Every motion has to be slow and measured. And all I do to free the queen is I kind of take this hive tool and make it a bee off of it. And I push the cork in. Some of the queen boxes have cork, some of them have sugar cubes. And you should be able to push that in all the way. I'm not getting it to go in. These bees just want to go home. We may have to go in the shed and get a nail to kind of push that in just a little further. It is about 75 out here, so even though I'm wearing I'm fully covered, I'm a little warm here. Um, these bees are very active because it is warm. So let me get some very quick here. I wonder if the keys would have anything on it. Oh, the key would work. So the other option. So now the queen and her attendants can escape. And we're just going to hang them in here. And now they will get out of their box. So now we're left with this box filled with bees. Um, if you can see, there are some bees that are in here kind of wiggling their butt up. They're showing this as home. All these bees have to get in here. So this is where it kind of gets a little sketchy. It's not really, it seems scarier than it is. But essentially, you go. And you shake them all out of this box. And you see all the thousands of bees just falling out. So there's still some in here. So we can keep doing this. There are some dead ones in here. Or what I tend to do is just put this a few feet away. They will find the rest of their hive. anybody today? I may have squished somebody. Sorry about that, ladies. And we're going to put the telescope lid on. And a rock just to keep them safe from the wind. And just like that, we have bees that are now living here. 